Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Hua Jieding from Tsinghua University, China. I'm a visiting PhD student here. I'm working with uh, uh, Yung, Professor Yung Hua Song and Professor Zhichun, who are my tutors in China, and I'm working with Professor Pia Ping Sun. Today, I feel quite honored to share with you our, our recent work on optimal offering and operating strategy of wind and storage. Recent decades have witnessed the rapid development of wind power. It has been a consensus that the wind power should be traded in electricity markets. However, the limited accuracy of the wind power forecast will result in the profit lose for the wind producers because they need to buy the balancing services from the market to accommodate their deviation from their head offers. Um, so the Energy storage is, can hence be regarded as a suitable complement to the wind farms as they allow flexible charging or discharging. They can help make up trade in their head market, smooth the wind power output, <coughs> and reduce balancing cost or wind curtailment, so it can help enhance the competition of the wind farm in markets. Uh, and electricity energy market usually consists of uh, their head market, intraday market, and real-time market. Our work is to integrate real-time control strategy with uh, their head bidding strategy. Real-time uh, real control strategy differs with different uh, balancing market rules. When the, ba when the balancing market is of one price, there is arbitrage space. So we adopt the linear decision rules as a real-time control strategy. According to the rules, the output of wind farm and uh, energy storage is uh, a fine function of the, power, uh, of the wind, wind power and uh, price forecast error. In the model, we also consider the, not only the expected profit, but also the conditional value at risk. When the balancing market is of two prices, there is no as as a node pool, there is no arbitrage opportunity. So in order to prevent the storage charging at a high price period or discharging at a low price period, we propose a reserve-based strategy, which sets specific charging or discharging capacity for the energy storage for each time interval. Then in real time operation, if the charging and discharging requirement from the wind farm meets the preset status, it can makes the energy storage can make corresponding actions. Otherwise, it stops working. In order to solve the uh, nonlinear mixed integer programming, we proposed the modified gradient descent algorithm, which is effective and uh, computationally friendly. Meanwhile, we also consider the value of intraday markets, which are assumed to carry out every four hours and determine the schedule for future four to eight hours. Left figure shows the adjustment the wind storage system carried out in intraday markets. And the right figure shows the influence of intraday penalty factor on the increased profit. This figure is uh, important and it can help the system more per uh, to determine a proper penalty factor in intraday market. Then we, we integrate the their head strategy, intraday strategy, and real-time strategy all together. And we put forward a rolling bidding and operating strategies for the wind and storage. In the their head, mar in the their head market, the, the wind storage optimizes their biddings to maximize the expected profit. And in intraday market, they utilize updated uh, forecast information to revise their bids to reduce their potential penalty. And in real-time market, the energy storage will track the wind power and uh, to make uh, to make up to accommodate the deviation from the intraday biddings. So in this way, we build a compl complete uh, structure of the bidding and operation for the wind storage system. And this case study shows that uh, such a kind of uh, cooperation strategy can make the wind farm more competitive in electricity markets. Thanks. <laughs>